I decided to call this video haircutting is fun when you know how because it's a fact. Anytime there was talk of job satisfaction with the different barbers I worked with, it always came out that cutting hair is a lot of fun. Yes, it's a real pleasure to work with hands and cutting tools to change hair from a burden that can cause a frown to something that creates a smile. Talk more on this subject and you find that it's almost unanimous that starting out in the haircut business was not fun at all. It was kind of scary. For myself, I avoided a lot of the scary part because of my dad's how-to tips and encouragement. That's my purpose with this video. To give you the tips and know-how for a good start at giving first-rate haircuts. With know-how, the fun begins and the scary disappears. Cutting hair with scissors or shears is a fairly easy mechanical process. The hair is combed up and held while the scissors cuts off the hair that's above the two fingers holding the hair. The important skill to be developed is the ability to hold the hair at the desired distance from the scalp, cut after cut. This determines the length of the hair and if you're consistent with how your holding hand operates, a nice precision cutting is achieved. I'll show you a good way to practice this skill at different lengths, starting with an inch, then every half inch up to three inches, but first we'll look at the mechanics of tool handling. Here is some upper back cutting. The first path has the holding hand in a no tapering or equal length position. The second path across has the holding hand in a tapering position. The best way to get longer top hair cut using an attachment is to first comb through the hair going with the grain before you make your path back through the hair going against the grain. When you use a three quarter inch or one inch attachment on fine hair you will have to go over the hair many times. What happens is that bendable hair will bend away from the clipper blades as the attachment travels through the hair. What you need to do is comb up some of the hair, hold it between your first and second fingers. It will show up like this. Use the scissors to cut off only the long ones. The sides and back on a Harvard are left quite full. You achieve that by pivoting the comb out, as you see here, for a low, abrupt taper. A 3 8 inch blade has been used on the lower sides and back. Now we switch to a shorter cutting blade for the over the comb cutting. Notice that each cut across the comb as it goes up the sides is leaving the hair a little longer. 